Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation by using isolation method. And eventually we're going to check our answer as well. In this isolation method, our approach is to make sure that this radical term must be isolated. We're going to put it on one side. So that means these two terms must go on the other side so that is going to give us simply 7 square root of x equals to when you move this negative 18 on the other side become positive 18 and this positive x become negative x now let's remove this square root so to get rid of square root we want to take the square on both side all right so you can see that this square 7 squared is going to be a 49 and then this square and square root, they undo each other. We got x equals to, now you can uh, take care of this thing, 18 minus x square, you can take care of using this well-known formula. This is a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. That's one way. Here you can say 18 is your a and x is your b. You can do one way. And there's a, let me show you another, another way that you can do that's also perfectly all right x minus 18 minus x square could be written as 18 minus x time 18 minus x let's multiply these one i put it twice because the exponent is 2 so 18 time 18 you just simply use that this rainbow method this is what we will be doing. 18 times 18 is 324. And when you multiply this thing, that's going to be negative 18x and minus 18x again and plus x squared. See, these are like terms. I can write down 324 minus 36x plus x squared. So I can write this whole thing back over here i can write down this one over here i can write x 324 minus 36 x plus x square now i want you to move this 49 x on the right hand side so we're gonna end up with zero on the left hand side just put everything over here whatever 324 is already there minus 36 x plus x square and this minus 40 this positive 49 become negative 49 x let's combine these like terms like this and these are like terms and we put in a descending order as well i can write down x square minus 85 x when you negative 36 and negative 49 and then plus 324 and I instead of putting a zero on the left hand side I can put it on the right hand side and now this represents a quadratic equation so we can go ahead and we can easily factor it out let's do that one so I can put two parentheses right up here equal to zero I can put x right up here and I can put x right up here and put down this 324 on the right hand side on the top of this x factor and that's negative 85 in the middle part that's going to go at the bottom of this x factor let's factor this 324 so the possible factor is going to be of course 4 times 81 is going to give you 324. And if you add them, you're going to get 85. Only thing is we need to fix their sign. So these both sign going to be negative and negative. So our factors turns out to be a negative 4 and negative 81. Let's plug it over here. So negative 4 is going to be right here. And this negative 81 is going to be here let's now now we have a two factors equal to zero we can separate them we can split them up x minus 4 equal to 0 and x minus 81 equal to 0 
So one of the solution is x equal to 4 and the other one is x equal to 81. So our two solutions are x equal to 4 and x equal to 81. In the next step, we're going to check these solutions. So now we want to check our answers. Okay, we got, we know we have a two solution x equal to 4 and x equal to 81. So let's try this first one x equal to 4. Now we're going to check our answer at x equal to 4. So wherever you see x replace it by 4. So that is going to simply become 7 times square root of 4 and this is simply 4 minus 18. My question is it is it left hand side equal to the right hand side which is 0. We know that this is square root of 4 is 2 so 7 times 2 plus 4 minus 18 14 plus 4 minus 18 question mark is it equal to 0 of course the left hand side equal to 0 and the right hand side is 0 my question is is this statement true yes indeed this statement is true that means this our answer is checked so x equal to 4 is our good answer now we're going to check our answer at x equal to 81. Let's plug it in wherever you see x, replace it by 81. So that is going to simply give us 7 times square root of 81 plus 81 minus 18 question mark. Is it left hand side equal to right hand side? We know the square root of 81 is 9. So 7 times 9 plus 81 minus 18 so that's going to become 63 plus 81 minus 18 if you add or subtract that is going to give you 126 and the right hand side is 0 my question is is this the left hand side equals to right hand side no that is not true that is false so that means this x equal to 81 is not a good answer so our good answer is only x equal to 4 so thus our only solution turns out to be x equal to 4 and finally this is your assignment can you do the very same radical equation by using substitution method you can take your time you can pause the video Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.